Grade 5, Module 1, Lesson 12, Exit Ticket Number 1, A and B. A asks us to multiply 5 and 1 tenth times 2, and we need to determine if the answer would be 102 thousandths, 1 and 2 hundredths, 10 and 2 tenths, or 102. We need to determine which one of those products is most reasonable. So we can look at 5 and 1 tenths in a, in a different way. 5 and 1 tenths is the same as 51 tenths. We can then multiply that 51 tenths by our 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. But now this does not give us the answer 102. It gives us 102 tenths. And we know that that, in standard form, is one number after the decimal place, giving us 10 and 2 tenths as our answer. Now looking back at the other products that our choices were, we can see that in the number 5 and 1 tenths, the whole number is a 5, and we're multiplying that by 2. We know 5 times 2 is 10. So right away we could have seen that no whole number is, was not an option. 1 as the whole number was not an option. 10 and 2 tenths not only is the product, but is the most reasonable answer. Now, for B, it asks us to multiply 4 times 8 and 93 hundredths. We're going to do the same thing where we're going to turn 8 and 93 hundredths and decompose it into the smallest possible units, which is in the hundredths. So, it's 8 and 93 hundredths times 4. Now, 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 9 is 36, plus 1 is 37. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 3 is 35. And again, this is not 3,502. This is 3,502 hundredths. So we need to put that back into standard form. Hundredths is two, decimal, two numbers after the decimal place. So we'll put the 7 and the 2 after, the 3 and the 5 in front, which gives us 35 and 72 hundredths our answer right here. Again, we can check for reasonableness and no, know that 4 times 8 is 32, so it cannot be 3. It cannot be 357. Most reasonable answer is our product.